always know that. Hey. You got it roll. Here we go. Hey. What's up, y'all? So, it's day two of my fast. Let's see. It's 11.39 p.m. So, I'm going to try to make this quick. Today, today has been a little challenging. So, for day one of my fast, ending the night, ending the night of yesterday night, going into this morning, I found out that over $500 was stolen from my bank account. Um, so that was very exciting. What was even more frustrating was the person that did it. Um, so that happened. And... Um, I'm not going to admit, I'm going to say I'm not going to admit, I'm going to admit, I was very ticked off, upset, I cried, and now I'm at a point now where I'm like, God, for whatever the reason, you allowed this to happen, I'm just going to trust you. And trust that it'll all work out. This video probably won't be edited. I'm just going to upload it the way it is. Because um, it's late at night. I'm tired. But I really wanted you guys to have this update. Because I'm... Y'all, leading... First of all, leading up to this fast. That entire last week. I know I started a fast yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, April 9th. But that entire week leading up to my fast was like literally... I don't want to say hell, but it was really hard. Like, work was hard. Life was hard. I was exhausted mentally, physically. I kept having issues at work. Like, stuff just kept happening to me. And I'm like, okay, no, Brittany. We're not going back. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to do this. And I really felt like I was in spiritual warfare. And then I went to my best friend's house. And I was telling her about my fast and how excited I was that it was, was happening and that, you know, I was making a decision to put God first. And then to turn around hours later and find out money was stolen from my bank account. And I know the person that did the fraud. So... That was very devastating. But now that I've had time to calm down, um, I'm still upset about it. And I want my money. But I'm just like, God, I'm letting it go. If I'm so focused on what somebody did to me, where that will hinder me getting to you. I'm going to let it go. Because when I say like I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm like I need God. And it's it's not about money. It's not about money. It's not about a spouse. It's not about like me wanting a, a, a better life. It's literally like I just I just need God. And I can and feel that I need him. I don't want to have success and com and don't have no attachment to God. I don't want to have success and not be going anywhere. I don't want to stand before God and for him to say, you did nothing with the gifts that I gave you. You did everything that Brittany wanted to do, but you forgot about me. So for that reason, I'm going to forget about the stuff that I'm going through and I'm going to continue to push forward. 
but I just wanted to give you guys this update. Um, I'm going to try to do another update tomorrow. Tomorrow is pretty much a long day for me. Um, tomorrow morning, I have to go to my nephew's funeral. And then tomorrow afternoon and evening, I'll pretty much be recording all day. But I wanted to give you guys this update. And for anyone that's on my journey, or even if you're not on the same journey as me right now, fasting... But you are fasting on your own time or you're seeking Christ and you're trying to figure out what to do, where to go. Things seem hectic. Whether you lost a loved one, your job, your sp sp it doesn't matter. Spouse, finances, a friend, it doesn't matter. Pain is pain. I want to encourage you to just keep moving forward. God says, seek him and ye shall find. So if you come across this video, it is not by coincidence. I encourage you to stay strong. Um, don't forget to follow me because I will be giving more updates. And you guys be blessed and have a wonderful evening. I'm about to head off to bed. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. You know I'm here for you.